hey guys welcome to my channel this is queen lizzie word and in here we talk about all things faith relationship and of course lifestyle motherhood as well yes guys if you're a new subscriber thank you for subscribing to my channel and in this video i want to just tell you guys what i've learned in six years of my no six things i learned in six years of my marriage okay <laughs> Six things I've learned in six years of my marriage, guys. Yeah, that's what I want to share with you guys today. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Number one thing that I've learned in this marriage is to always put God first in whatever I do. God first. Like, you know how you want to achieve something, like you have some goals, you have everything. You can't leave God out of it. Like God cannot be left up out of that situation. So I've learned to always put God first in whatever I am doing because it's the ultimate, right? So and, and somebody might be like, Oh, how do you put God first? Like I I seek his face, you know, like you want to go do something, you have something in mind to do, you have something in mind to achieve. I seek God's face first. You get what I'm saying? I seek God's face first, then I go and do venture what I want to do. So I've learned to always put God first in whatever I want to do. And number two things I have learned in this um, six years of marriage is I've learned to be patient. Yes. I've learned to be patient, guys. See, patient is a virtue. Okay? <laughs> I've learned to be patient. I've learned to sometimes overlook some things. Like, just overlook some things. Like, you're going to do something to you sometimes and you'll be like, Okay. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> I've learned to be patient. Okay. Number three thing I've learned in my three in my six years of marriage is trust. Guys, see, when I was single, I really battled with trust so so much. Like it, it was it was here. Like. And that was one of the things that really gave me confidence when I was getting married because you know how I trust trusted my husband, even though we were like in different countries, right? But the way I trusted him was one thing that that piece of mind was another thing that made me say yes to him. You get what I'm saying? Because I, I battle with trust. I'm, I'm both person that I'll talk to you, you will tell me you are in, you are in, um. Yeah, so you are in a different state, and I'm like, nah, you're not there. Yeah, I, I will tell you that you're not there. Even though you're telling me the truth, I battled with trust a lot when I was single, and I was grateful to God because I was really scared that hmm, how do I get married? You know, in this kind of a situation of my mind not trusting somebody, how do I get married and not trust the man I'm with? Right? You would okay. I trust the man in relationship, but I'm not going to trust my husband when we get married. So I really battle with that a lot when I was single. Just for you are watching me right now and you are single and you know you have trust issues and you want to know that okay, so how did I resolve? How did I overcome that? And how I was able to overcome that is to be with the right person. That is just the triple truth. Because let me tell you something: if you have trust. If you have trust issues that you don't trust somebody and you end up with the wrong person, let me tell you that trust will become that that your your you don't be you don't be trusting people we we double that's the truth you will triple treasure is right here and he just interrupted me. Guys, sorry about that. <laughs> It's right here. It's right here with me. <laughs> okay, guy. I think we should do this video together, but it's just shakara for me. Yeah, but it's interested. okay. He said he's not interested. Okay, whatever. I did myself. <laughs> so that was one thing that you know that really made me say, okay, yes, yes, yes. Because I had peace. So if you are with somebody and you don't have peace of mind, they don't. In fact, I don't even get married with that person to that person because when you get married with that person, you see, you, you continue to still be in that situation of you not trusting that person. That's just the truth. That is the truth. So that was one that I, I personally battled with, and I made sure that I got married to the right person just so that the trust that he helped me build, even though he didn't know that I, I, I grew with him to 
trust like to build the trust that i, I should have in, in the man i want to get that i i want to get married to as i when i was single and now that i'm married i, was, I just thank god for that so i i, I had to build that okay of course constant prayers seeking god for god please help me help me overcome this weakness help me overcome it was, it was really a very big big issue for me as a person i thank god that i was able to overcome it okay the fourth thing I've learned in my four years of marriage is you can never have marriage. everything. In my five, in my six, oh, oh my God. the fourth thing I've learned in my six years of marriage is you can never have everything. You can never have everything. Sometimes you have some, sometimes you don't get some. You know, sometimes you have to compromise. Like, sometimes I want something, my husband wants something, you'll be like, no, okay, that's not a good idea. And I'm like, I want it now. They'll tell me, no, it's not a good idea. And he will give me a reason why he's still telling me no, that it's not a good idea, right? And sometimes I don't, I, I, I'm not saying that I agree with him every time, but it is what it is. You know, sometimes he wants to make some decisions, and I'm like, I don't think that's a good idea like that. So, like, learn it to compromise, learn it to just, you know, let things go, you know. It's another thing that I've learned in my beautiful, fantastic six years of marriage, okay? And the fifth thing I've learned in my six years of marriage is that love is real. Love is possible. Love is real. Love is possible. <laughs> so people are like, what are you talking about? Yes. Let me tell you, see, if you are watching me, I say, don't let anybody tell you nonsense that after two years of marriage, you're going to, that's a, that's a life in the pit of hell. Hello? Hello? Should I use speaker? Should I? Should I say it louder? Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Marriage is beautiful. I learned that. Fifth thing that I've learned in my sister's marriage is life is beautiful. Marriage is sweet. God is amazing. I'm telling you guys. I am telling you. So don't let anybody tell you otherwise. That, oh, after two years, you're not going to stop, you're not gonna stop loving you. After one year, you're going to stop loving your husband. You're going to start staying together. Oh, the one I always did at that time when I was single was when I, when, the, the moment you start having children, forget it. Ah, oh, people stop. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. So, yes. So, I'm here to tell you guys that, yes, I learned that in my marriage. Another thing I learned is that love is possible. The only thing is you have to play your game. Your husband plays his game. The wife plays, plays her game. Both of you plays the game. And you guys come to the middle. And of course, God is always the foundation of everything. God is the foundation. And, and there was, I think there was one of my videos, I've said this thing before. Like It's like a triangle. It's like a triangle. God is right here, right? This is a triangle, right? God is up here. This side here is the man. This side there is a woman. You see that? So God, so when the man speaks, he speaks to God. When the woman speaks, she speaks to God. When both of them speak, they speak to God. See, like the God is not like the head of the home. Why both of them are not like listening to God? That's all you need to. That's what all you need to do in your marriage. That that connection must be that. Well, that, that that's one of the things that will keep you going. And the sixth thing that I've learned in my six, six years of marriage is that the word. The word that you heard from God in the beginning, before you even tell the man yes, that word, that word is very, very important because most of the time you will need that word to keep you going in your marriage. Can I say that louder? Yes, yes, yes. Can I say that louder? That word that you hear from God, that when God tells you, six, go ahead, or bro, go ahead. That word, you need it. You need that word to keep you going. I've, I've done a video of, of, of that before in my previous videos. I can't remember like a while ago. And, and I'm not good at putting this up there. But yeah, that word. You need that word. You need that word. That word. Yeah. So, <clears throat> sometimes you might be at the studio. Oh my God. I'm not. I'm really. Oh my God. Am I okay? But when you hear that word. When that word have a way of triggering something inside of you there was one something i shared with my husband of recent um just feel this good i'm like see, 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 see. and i was able to share that thing with my husband because of the word i have heard from, i have gotten from god before i ever told him yes so i was able to share that experience with him you know like okay so do you see 
look at it, I think something is lacking here, something is lacking here, something is like I was able to share all that. If I didn't get a word, I would just be working in darkness. Oh God, I was working in darkness, but because I knew the revelation I got from the beginning, I knew the word I got. I have it down, I have it in my notebook, not a joke, right, guys? So because I have the word, because of that. I was I was able to remember what was spoken about seven years ago, guys. So I can't even believe I'm saying seven years ago. <laughs> hey, seven beautiful years ago, the word. So that is another thing that I've learned in my sisters of marriage that yes, you need that word to keep you going every day of your life in your marriage. Somebody might say, "Oh my God, I think I've missed it. I don't have a word." Let me tell you something. No matter the mistake you have made, God can still speak to you. He can still tell you your own word. He can still give you your own word. The only thing that you have to ask Him and let Him speak to you about it. Like, oh my God, I'm, I'm, but let Him know that you have missed it. God, you have missed it, and let him now redirect your step and just help you along the journey. And that's what I want to share with you guys. Those are the amazing, fantastic, great six things I've learned in my sisters of marriage. And see, guys, I enjoy, I, I enjoy, and I just thank God for everything. I cannot thank God enough. He has been faithful. I have three amazing children. I have David. I have Elizabeth. I have Daniel. I have. And they are royalties and um, I'm my husband and myself. I just thank God. Our families, friends, loved ones, everybody around me, church God. And yeah, it's all the thing for everything that God has me faithful. So I, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and please kindly share this video. And let let's let just let people know that you know like what Queen is the world is made of, like oh what she has experienced the sisters of marriage. Let's just show them, you know, you know. Let's show them. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as usual, I leave you all in the hand of Almighty God. Thank you, and God bless you. Bye.